Hey guys, Level Cap here, and today is Monday, which means it's time for an episode of Loadout, the series where you guys get to pick my gun and loadout for the episode. Just leave a comment in the comments section letting me know what kind of weapon and accessories you'd like me to run with, and I will pick one of the top rated comments for the next episode of Loadout. Today's top comment comes from the Strike Elite. He says, Let's change it up a little, Level Cap. M27 IAR, no scope, no attachments. Let's see how you cope with a bog standard gun that beginning players have to use. Now, I will admit, when I first read this comment, I kind of winced when I saw how many upvotes it got because I was like, oh, this is really what you guys want to see. All right, I'll do a basic weapon for you. And then I was thinking, you know what? There's still a lot of players getting into Battlefield now. I mean, it went on sale. It had that like $10 sale for the basic game. So a lot of people are probably buying it and trying it out now, especially if you're getting tired of some of the other shooters that are out there. And uh, they do have to start with all the basic weapons. Uh, and they can't upgrade it with all the cool attachments right off the bat. So here they are in games using the basic guns up against players who have unlocked every single attachment for their weapons and have been using them for a long time. So you know what? Challenge accepted and uh, I, I like the concept now. I'm, I'm on board. So the M27 IAR is the basic starting machine gun that uh, US players get. It's the RPK if you're Russians and the M27 IAR if you're US and once you uh, rank up your support class all the way you can then unlock each of those weapons for the opposing teams. Now the M27 IAR, believe it or not, is most common to the M416 assault rifle for the assault class and once upon a time these guns were nearly identical except for the aiming down sight spread where the M27 had considerably more aiming down sight spread. Um, uh, making it the worst of the two weapons, but then again it also had a much larger magazine starting out at 46 rounds. Now after the most recent weapon patch, which uh, really gave the M416 some new life, uh, they reduced the reload time and the uh, recoil, side to side recoil on that, and they didn't really buff the M27 IAR, so the M416 really pulled ahead of the M27 considerably, and now they don't really represent each other uh, in terms of performance so much anymore they just represent each other in terms of look because the base weapon for the M27, the M416 and the M417 are all basically the same gun. Now I've heard people just talk about the iron sights on this weapon like they're the best in the game and frankly they are very good iron sights if I had to go with any iron sights I would probably pick the iron sights on this weapon. However, saying the iron sights are actually better than a Cobra or Red Dot sight is completely out of line because here was the big problem I was having using the iron sights for this weapon. Uh, there was enough smoke and sort of debris flying up around the target that I was shooting at that it would usually cloud my view and uh, be very hard to see around my iron sight. So I would start shooting at a target and then kind of just have to hope that he was still there. There was a lot of times where I would shoot at a target that ended up moving and I couldn't actually see the movement. They moved left or right and I would still be shooting at the same spot and this became kind of frustrating. So you really do have to put a lot more bullets either down at the same spot or kind of move it around a little and uh, or spot your target actually really helps. So spotting the target before you start shooting is almost a um, necessity with this weapon as long as you're shooting at a moving target. Now running this gun naked means that I don't get to use my attachment of choice which would be the heavy barrel in this case. And that's actually a really big hit to the performance of this weapon. It's a lot bigger than most people actually think, especially if you're somebody who considers themselves to be pretty good at aiming, uh, especially aiming down sights. Uh, not running with a heavy barrel is going to just like take the range of this weapon, reduce it greatly, and just take the accuracy and just throw it out the window. So uh, I ended up having to spend so much of my clip killing guys now, like half my clip on uh, killing most people at medium ranges just because uh, the recoil and the aiming down sight accuracy was just not there. It wasn't good enough to really drop as many people as I needed to. So taking this gun back to the basics is uh, very noticeable for me just because I got so used to using it with the heavy barrel ever since they introduced the heavy barrel for this weapon. The aiming down sight spread is 0.4. Now if you compare that to say the M416 assault rifle, the aiming down sight spread starts out at 0.2. Now these spreads increase the longer you fire the weapon, but if they start out at a much more accurate base, uh, they 
said the M416 will reach 0.4 spread after firing a few rounds, so you still maintain a better accuracy than this gun even after firing off a few rounds. So uh, you basically just start at a really inaccurate spot with the M27 IAR and it just gets worse from there. So it makes longer range shots extremely hard to do. Now the damage drop off that you suffer is actually pretty substantial. So with the heavy barrel, the M27 IAR can still five shot a guy at 50 meters where the M27 IAR without the heavy barrel can five shot a guy at only 40 meters so you're getting a considerable range drop off in uh, your ability to kill people fast and the accuracy hit that you get from not using the heavy barrel again really reduces your effectiveness at range so just not having the heavy barrel on this gun is like all right it's really just a medium range gun don't even think about long range and if you are going to do long range be prepared to put most of your magazine down range and hope that the guy isn't moving now despite all my gripes about not using the M27 IAR with any attachments on it, uh, it's probably my preferred machine gun to use without attachments just because some of the other ones are really hard to control the recoil. The M27 IAR performs most like an assault rifle when compared to the other machine guns. It has a very easy to manage recoil pattern and it has a respectable rate of fire of 750 rounds per minute. In addition to that, it has the same damage model as an assault rifle with a 25 maximum damage and an 18.4 minimum damage. So for the new guys getting into the support class for the first time, uh, the M27 IAR really is one of the better weapons to start out with. Now ideally you'd have a heavy barrel and a cobra sight on there, that would be my setup of choice. You don't need to worry about a foregrip really. Um, and you can really go to town with this gun, it performs very fast. Uh, the reload speed is 1.9 seconds which is extremely fast, that's faster than most assault rifles out there. So you can really play it like an assault rifle. The accuracy isn't top notch. But then again, uh, you can still run with this thing all the way up through uh, ranking up the support class until you get all the weapons. I'm not saying don't use other machine guns because other machine guns uh, have much larger ammo capacities and can be very effective for bipod use or uh, just really having a lot of ammunition to suppress your targets. But uh, if you're just getting into the support class, the M27 IAR is a great weapon because it's not hard to learn. And to be most effective with this weapon, you really have to know its limitations. Long range is one of its main limitations, especially without a heavy barrel. And the other limitation would be extreme close quarters uh, and hip fire. The rate of fire isn't terrible, but it's not the best either. So if you're running into somebody who's really uh, looking for some close quarter action, they're really looking to get in close with a high rate of fire weapon, you're gonna lose those firefights. And the hip fire is just garbage with this gun. So uh, if you really just run around the corner and somebody's in your face and you're gonna try and hip fire them down, not only are you gonna have a slower firing weapon, but you're gonna have really bad hip fire accuracy. So you're gonna be outgunned in extreme close quarters and extreme long range by most assault rifles. Um, and then anybody playing those ranges specifically is pretty much gonna have the advantage on you. So this is really a medium range support weapon. So that wraps up this episode of Loadout. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to leave your comments down below letting me know what kind of gun and accessories you'd like me to run with for the next episode. Don't forget to rate the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. This is Level Cap, signing off. Mm -hmm.